Hey there, music listeners of YouTube. This is Tiny Record Time, the small music show for big music listeners. I am Josh, and today I will be discussing five new albums I have got in my record collection. So let's get started. First, I have an amazing doom metal record, uh, Bent by Stonefield. They are an Australian doom metal band uh, comprised of four sisters. Um, they're on the Flightless label run by Eric Moore of King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Eric is also the second drummer for King Gizzard. Um, this is a really good, like, doomy alternative uh, metal album. It's slow, heavy, sludgy, and it's just really good to listen to grooves, and it's fun, and it's awesome. The record comes in a black sleeve, which is pretty cool. Also got the hype sticker. I would like to do that. And it's on red vinyl, which is pretty epic as well. Um, it I saw them. I got this record when I saw them with King Gizzard back in August for the King Giz Infest the Rat's Nest tour for their heavy metal album, Infest the Rat's Nest. And these this band opened uh, before Orb and then King Giz. So, but when I saw them, I was just blown away. I had known about them a little bit from their music video for Sleep, a lot of songs, first track. And that was really good. The music video for the song Sleep also contains uh, a bit of Freddy Freaker. And if you don't know who that is, uh, I recommend looking him up. So the next record I have is The White Stripes, Fell in Love with a Girl, 7-inch. Um, I got this from my girlfriend for Valentine's Day. I love her. And I'm a big fan of The White Stripes. Love this band. Um, you know, good stuff. Jack White, Nick White. Earlier music, um, it's Black Vinyl from Third Man, it's Repress. It's pretty awesome. I just, I love the song. The artwork's really cool too. It's the brain. But yeah, um, can't go wrong. And then the B side is I Just Don't Know What to Do With Myself, which I haven't listened to the B side yet. But I assume it's good because the White Stripes. Love Jack White. I actually saw him back in September when I was at Riot Fest he was playing with the Rack and Tours. Very good show. If you ever get a chance to see Jack White or the Rack and Tours, go see them. You'll love it. Anyone will. It's great. But yeah, my girlfriend got this and I for me and I love it. She's the best. And now the next record I have is another Australian band, The Chats. This pub punk pub rock trio have been blowing through the punk scene and have been amazing. Um, they got hits like Smoko, Bus Money, Temperature, and even some newer songs that just released, uh, Pub Feed, Dying Dash, and, uh, da, 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 da. they've got a few others, uh, Do What I Want, that's another really good one. But yeah, this is from, uh, Bargain Bin Records, which is just the, I think the Chats label, and then also Burger Records pressed it in America for this release of it because it's US pressing but it is on yellow and red vinyl which is pretty epic um, yeah I love it found it I actually got this off of Depop from some guy um, for a pretty for a good price I don't know how much I paid for it but it wasn't too much so this is a, an amazing amazing EP mini album so if you haven't checked out the chats yet I highly recommend it the next record I have are some local legends. Um, they're from Elgin, Illinois. Uh, Beach Bunny. They're Double EP, Prom Queen, and Cry Baby, plus the single Sports. Uh, I'm from Illinois, so I really, I kind of connect with them a bit. And they're really good. I saw them live with Prince Day and the Hyena, a good pop punk emo band, and um, another Michael who was synth pop, more ambient band. They were really good. That was at Thalia Hall back in... Uh, uh, back in Halloween 2019. That was a great show. Amazing show. The artwork on this is cool too. Uh, made press by miscellaneous recordings. Um, this is a, this is a, for a second press or reissue because the first is done by a different label. I forget who pressed it. But this is it's really nice and then the vinyl is purple with like a confetti different colored pastel uh, Splatter, which is awesome as heck, too. So this is a really good, really good album. 
at WP. So highly recommend them. Singer Lily, she has amazing songwriting style, and her her voice is amazing. It really it fits, but it, it just it doesn't you wouldn't expect because she's a very nice soft like bedroom poppy voice, but it's heavier hitting. It's not heavier hitting, but like it's pop punk and it, it's it's different, but it's really refreshing and nice and good. Um, Beach Boy actually just released a new album called Honeymoon back on Valentine's Day. And that is amazing. It's some. It's a lot in the style of this double EP. So if you like Beach Bunny and you like their style, check out Honeymoon and also check out uh, this album, double EP. Lastly, I have something pretty heavy. It's the Acacia Strain's new album. Uh, it comes in waves. This is skull crushing. It's crazy good. You get like your classic, you know, you got Deathcore. They're one of the, the forefrontal Deathcore bands. Um, but it's experimental. It's death. It's metal and Deathcore and just heavy. It's crazy good. And then the packaging in this is awesome too. I mean, it's kind of, you can see it kind of gloss there. Gloss in the bag, you got their logo. But also on the inside, it opens up to say, Our Only Sin Was Giving Them Names, which is actually this, each title of the songs um, and they're heavy they're amazing they're good it's pressed by closed cast activities so that's awesome they make some great stuff and the packaging of this is good too it's very thick cardboard yeah I know there's a dent there but thanks UPS and then the record itself is a pinwheel red and splatter record it's really nice and sounds great too it's clean quiet but you know loud where it needs to be and then there's also the inner art is amazing too just look at that also got the, the hype sticker right there and it's just super nice super nice love me the acacia my friend paul he actually got me into the acacia strain because they're like his favorite band one of them um but yeah this is it comes in the waves by the acacia strain the newest album Highly recommend checking out more of their uh, discography. They are amazing. They also just released a t-shirt where it was uh, one of the Animal Crossing characters, the, the bunny, I forget her name, Isabel. It was her, and it says the Acacia Strain around it. It's, it's pretty funny. But yeah, so those are five recent acquisitions to my record collection. I'm Josh. This has been Tiny Record Time, the small music show for big music listeners. Thank you for watching.